Oh boy, hit them! Oh boy, hit them! Oh boy, hit them! Come on down! Come on, come on down! Hey, 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 no. This is, this is who we are worshipping. This is who we are worshipping. This is who we are worshipping. People are fighting over who they will now be worshipping. They're fighting over the, whether they will worship this man or the other man as their God. That's what you just heard. You, you heard it right. And next, you see this one here talking about if there was social media during the time of our Lord Jesus Christ, a lot of people would... A lot, of, a lot would have happened and so many would have doubted his divinity. So the problem now is that there is social media and so we're able to speak and we're doubting the divinity of their God. That's fine. Now this one says, Olumba Olumba Obu I know is a great leader, o -O Obu, the sinless man born in 1918 in Biakpan. He does not engage in fornication, adultery, drunkenness, blackmail, drug use, the consumption of meat and meat or any flesh, necromancy, nor is his name to be found in any occult society or register. He does not travel by road, rail, ship or airplane because he is omnipresent. He knows everything and knows and practices the gospel in its totality, teaching sin without the need to read from or reference any written address. Being omnipotent, he does everything by the spoken word. No need for police, army, thugs, guns, machetes, or the intervention of medical doctors, seeing that he does not fall sick. This being is clad in red garment, not blue or green or whatever, whatever. You have to put things in proper context so that we don't fall into the hands of the living God. It is a fearful fate for anyone. The man written of is known as and feared in all planes of manifest as the Trinity God, the incarnate word, the supreme personification of the spirit of truth, the supernatural teacher and sole spiritual head of the universe. It is he who is Ulumba Ulumba Ubu, right? So that is the man that this person has described as their Ulumba Ulumba person. And so therefore he is God to them. Going further, I saw someone actually make an, an argument that it has some weight. He said, after all, you guys worship Jesus, don't you? Jesus was a human being in flesh. He's the man who walked the earth and you guys worship him. So how dare you complain that we're worshiping a human being? It's the same thing. He's a human being. Ulumba Lumba is a human being. Jesus Christ is a human being. So what is the difference? That's up to you now. So going forward... Now, this is another post. This one says he is what he, he is till today. This generation and the power of social media can never stop him, even his glory and reign. He is that same Christ of yesterday, today, and forever with a new name. His Holiness Olumba Olumba Ubu, the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. His kingdom is unshakable, and she remains proudly Olumba's diamond daughter. And under the inscription, under, under the photo, there's an inscription which says, his Holiness, Ulumba Ulumba Ubu, King of Kings and Lord of Lords. I actually saw this, this post and the person was holding it and dancing, playing music and dancing to it. And then you see more of the, the lovers of the Ulumba Ulumba, their father. This one says, thank you, father. This one says, I don't know what they're saying in their language. I know that Abasi is God. And then goes on to hail him and call him handsome daddy. Daddy way handsome. Rule your world, father. And then someone says, I beg, which one we go take between God's, between God's the grandsons? Because we know that they were fighting over which of the sons should be their, their new God now. This is quite interesting. It makes me think of all the things that I've heard in the past about the historical moments in, in Greek now mythology and Greek history and all the things that we heard about the deities that we were, they were worshipping and that people were choosing which one is more powerful and which one should. Doesn't it make you think about the fact that even in the Bible it talks about gods and they're different gods and then it also goes ahead to tell us that we're made in the image of God. 
So, I mean, go figure. You think about it and decide what you want to think. Obviously, the disciple have taken that literally and it's up to, they say that if we could worship Jesus, who is a human being that walked the face of the earth, why not this one, who is even more like them? Because there was a place where I saw them talking about he's like us. Instead of worshiping Jesus, who is a white man, this one is like us. So I look like my father. That makes sense to me. <laughs> it does make sense to me, really. So anyway, so someone is begging them, people, you people you think should have sense religion is bad and then someone says well he's he's god the person is saying he's my god go and die right he's saying to anyone who is countering these things and then somebody says this rights of shock me in this modern world and then someone said, I beg, let him cure himself of cancer first. Then we will know who he is. So to me, it's like, well, so this is really what we have. This is the country that we have. This is Nigeria. Actually, you know what? Let me go back. Let me go back and grab that other one because it's interesting. And I'd like you to also see what is written there. Yeah. So this is the one. The Jesus Christ that you call today, was he not a man? The same way you are all claiming to worship and love him, you forgot too soon how you nailed him on the cross because of ignorance. And today, you are calling his name Jesus, Jesus, expecting to crash land from the sky, right? Keep waiting in years and generations to come and go when he's already here with a new name. Now, you suppose with your Bible, the problem is that you people love the Old Testament too much. You call yourselves saints and Christians, yet you fight one another. Is that the teaching of Jesus Christ? Ignorance yesterday, ignorance today. Actually, if you want to think about this, this person is telling the truth. So we 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 call Jesus on this side. This other group calls Jesus. That other group calls Jesus. And yet, everybody is fighting. It's very on Jesus like So she does have a point. And then somebody says, okay, so imagine he's here with us already, right? I'm battling cancer, Abby. When Jesus Christ shall come again, all eyes shall see him. His returning is not for Calabar people and Aquaibo people alone. <laughs> Indeed, I can see the depth of the brainwashing and blindfolds that you have. That is it, my people. So let's just be laughing. Like, let us just be laugh for Jesus. Let us just be laughing. Because this has become, at this point, there is no, I am changing directions. This has to be comic relief. I, I actually find this really hilarious and entertaining. Right, except for the fact that my people's blindness is keeping us in the doldrums. The country is in the dungeon, and that is my biggest pain. But hmm, sad. Anyway, I have decided that I am just going to be laughing, and I am holding on to that because nobody is going to steal my laughter. Like if you guys know what I've been through in life, like. All I just want to do is be laughing. Like anybody who says that they're against me, I, I just... And so on a serious note, going forward, all I will be doing when I talk about these things now is just laughter. I will use them for entertainment because you see, what I have said to myself in this life is that if you're not for me, you are against me. And if you're against me, you are not for me. So what I will do instead of having headaches or sleepless nights or allowing these people to make me sick from thinking i will be using these things as comic relief because they are actually quite funny it's not funny but you can't help but be amused you can't help but be amused <laughs>